we were asked to read this acknowledgement that says, we, the International Indian Treaty Council, hosting this event, acknowledge that we are on the unceded ancestral homeland of the Ramatosh Ohlone, who are the original inhabitants of the San Francisco Peninsula. As the indigenous stewards of this land and in accordance with their traditions, the Ramatosh Ohlone have never ceded, lost, nor forgotten their responsibilities as the caretakers of this place as well for all peoples who reside in their traditional territory. As guests, we recognize that we benefit from living and working on their traditional homelands. We wish to pay our respects by acknowledging the ancestors and relatives of the Ramatush community and by affirming their sovereign rights as First Peoples. So thank you to them, and I'm going to hand it over here to Cody Blackbird. Hello, hello. Thank you, Morning Star. Thank you to Yerba Buena Gardens and the Treaty Council for having me here this afternoon. How are you guys all doing this afternoon? Come on, I need that energy. I'm a little tired. How are you guys all doing? Awesome. It's good to be here. My name is Cody Blackbird, an award-winning Native American flutist. I'm originally from Alaska. My family is from South Dakota, and I've kind of grown up all over. I now reside in Arizona. I've had the pleasure of coming out here to San Francisco for about the past seven years now performing for a sunrise ceremony um, usually in November so this is my first time up here for this uh, event here in October and I'm very glad to be here I'm gonna do some songs off a new album that just released recently this is an album that I released called Tokyo at midnight that is currently in the running for a possible three Grammy nominations in consideration for at this year's awards and this is an album that features good friend and late brother John Trudell uh, throughout the album as well. So I'm going to share that with you and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. It was President Grant who said, if you kill the buffalo, you will surely kill the American Indian people. So it's been in the cards, we know from the beginning of contact that the mission was to erase, destroy, and eradicate our people and our history from the face of this earth. What they didn't realize is they buried a source of our food, our spirituality, our lodging in these mass graves alongside of our people. That they were just planting a seed, a seed that would sprout up and be spirit food for our indigenous youth today, so that they may regain their culture, their languages, their dances, their ceremonies, and who they are as indigenous peoples. So from Mauna Kea, Hawaii, Standing Rock, North Dakota, Shinnecock, Long Island, all the way up to Arctic Village, Alaska, all the way down to Tierra del Fuego. We stand in solidarity as indigenous peoples of this world. And to our non-indigenous friends, we say kindly to you, you can stand with us as allies, or please move out of our way because we are not stopping.
So this album came from two tours over in Japan. I was able to go over there and play some music years ago. And as I was traveling around Japan, we were in Nagoya at, the po at this time. And I was looking at this old building and I made the comment, I was like, wow, for being so old, this looks so new. And they said, well, that's because it is new. It had to be rebuilt after the war. And I started to understand as I would visit the monasteries and I would visit and talk with people around Japan that the U.S.'s motive of operation has always been to find the heart of the people and destroy it. So whether it be uh, sacred sites, temples, shrines, that's what they went for, just like they did with our people because they knew that that was a way to, uh, to make us weaker because that's who we are as people. Our spirituality grounds us. And so that was the inspiration for this album was understanding those parallels around the world of how we've all gone through a similar struggle as indigenous peoples of the world. So this next song is called Tokyo at Midnight. Thank you. 
you all. We'll put on Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I do appreciate you all and your time. If you like the music that you heard, my booth is just right over to my right. Your left, I've got a variety of CDs over there, both solo and then my band Blackbird. We've got some CDs, including the one that was recently featured in Rolling Stone magazine for our collaboration with Grammy Award winners Portugal the Man. So if you want to come see us, come see us over there. And if you're on social media, feel free to follow me at Cody Blackbird on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you guys so much. Again, thank you to the Treaty Council and Yerba Buena Gardens for having me this afternoon. Thank you all. Thank you to Cody Blackbird and his band. Please visit his booth. Please visit our Indigenous Justice booth here on the far end and visit the International Indian Treaty Council booth. All of these vendors came out to uh, share with you today. They've got some really great goods and products, so please visit them and, and uh, contribute to them for making uh, their way out here um, with us today. At this time, we're gonna bring out Zabenapo dancers and singers and we're gonna have them come up at this uh maybe we can get some mics out here on the front of the grass area and uh have the dancers right here so thank you so much to zapetapo for they also drove down early in the morning they've been traveling a lot and have come to share these songs and dances uh and this good medicine with us today so a big o for them Aww.